Now, I'm gonna show you a performance car glitch. Now, as you can see here, we're gonna be doing, well, no, you can't really see here, but we're going to be doing the same glitch as the part removal, except this time with performance. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take performance from a high-end car and put it on a low-end car using the same glitch. So we're gonna use this Camaro and we're gonna use my Ford GT. Now my Ford GT is not 399, nor does it have all level 18 parts. It just has this. However, in order to do this glitch, you're going to want a part in yeah, the top part here. So right now we're just going to put the 14 in, and as we can see for head, our top piece is a level 18. So we're going to have that there. And what we're going to do is we're going to hit swap with warehouse and quickly move over to performance customization before the screen loads in. And what should happen is we'll get a level 18 part on this Camaro. As we can see, I've already done this, but with a level 16 part instead. Now the reason to do this, other than not farming for speed cards, is that also for level 300 cars, they only get up to a certain level of speed card. Now, if you put level 18s on a car that only goes up to level 300, I don't know what's to happen. I don't even know what the max thing for it is. But we'll find that out. Well, probably won't find it out, but we'll at least see what we can do. So, we gotta get back in the Ford GT. Okay, so we are going for that level 18 head in the Camaro. Okay, should have successfully done it. Now, we're gonna be greeted to this screen here. Absolutely nothing. We wanna hit select and equip. And we're gonna back out. And boom shakalaka, there we are, level 18 head on the Camaro. Okay, so how do you do this for other parts? This only works for the first one, you might think. Well, it doesn't. See, like the, other, like the part removal glitch, we need to work fast before the screen loads in. So when we first hit it, and it loads in, I mean, we get into the part thing, we need to also move over one to get to block. So let's go back to our GT. And thing that was beautiful about this, we go back to our GT, the level 18 part is fucking, uh, wait, no, level 18 part is still here, <laughs> I clicked the wrong thing, okay, so now we want this level 17 block, so we're going to switch it out with the 14, so then we have 17 available, and we're going to do this again, whoops, I didn't even hit this, hold on, make sure that, wait, what, hold on, is it, oh, it's still on that, Let's see if that does anything. Okay, then we're gonna select, equip, back out. And it does it, yes! Okay, so you don't even need to be quick. Just make sure that you're on it. So, wait a minute, that means you can put level one stuff on super high-end cars. You get, <laughs> yep, you can put super low-end stuff on crap cars. <laughs> No, wait. Super low-end stuff on high-end cars. Put all level 1s on the Koenigsegg. I don't have one. I want to try that. So, we are going to go to the turbo. We're going to put the 15 on so we have the 17 available. Make sure turbo is selected. We're just going to do this all in one video. Back out. As we see, level 17 jump turbo. Already level 198, and we still have level two level ones. I don't know how that's gonna go. Seriously, I don't. I think it'll stay at 299. It probably will. But we will at least have high end. Why'd I get in the Buick? At least we'll have high end parts. Okay, let's get back on to. Seriously? Let's do Gearbox. Because it's level 18. Okay, and also put this back up to 17. Okay, that's on that. Nice. It's only level 230. Are you telling me that putting up this exhaust is gonna go whoop? I don't know. Okay, so we need exhaust. I still want to try and put level one stuff on. 
still. It doesn't make a difference, like in the performance. Well, if it doesn't make a difference, then it doesn't make a difference. But guess what? Your numbers are going to say level one. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so we're going to put this stock level 16 nitrous on there. Ooh, nice. Okay, now, we still only have a level 248 Camaro, so we probably ought to take it out. I don't know. Back it out, just see if it... No, it's not gonna... Okay, we're gonna put the stuff back on the 4 GT, and then we'll take the Camaro out for a run. Turbo. Is that all? 379, yeah. Okay, let's see it. That'd be a money farming system now that I think about it. Because you don't need to farm. It's a time saving mechanic. Well, well no, you be you better was, do this before it gets patched. No, but what I was saying is like because the high end parts sell for more cash, just switch it out and then you're able to sell it right away. I don't know how quick this car's gonna be. Certainly much quicker than stock. Watch out. Wait, what happens if we go to the parts store now? Obviously, it's worth it, because that means you don't have to grind. Level 16 max is it. However, it does increase. that does increase it. Like, what's wrong with my level 16? Oh. Okay, so obviously, the parts are less superior, not as superior at all. Jesus Christ. However... This might work better on... It probably doesn't recognize the level 18 parts, that's why. However, obviously, this isn't a quick and easy way to get the car up to snuff. And now, time to do, do some super builds. Actually, no, this means we got a level 399 the GT, and then put everything else on. All right, guys, quick and simple video. Hope you liked it. If you did, please hit the like button. And if you didn't, please don't hit the dislike just because it's not giving you the best of the best. It's at least a quick and easy way to get the car upgraded. And guess what? You take it to the shop and you already get your max parts. All righty. See you in the next one. Bye.